Hello guys, uh, this is Shaw and in this video I will show you how to resolve the black screen issue when you click on XBMC. Uh, it's about when you click on XBMC and you are getting black screen or um, XBMC is not letting you go in or it's, it's trying to load itself and then it, you, it's throwing you back onto the home screen. So if you're facing this issue, um, definitely this video is for you. I will show you how you can resolve this issue uh, in a matter of minutes. So um, let's do it. First thing is to start your box as normal. And in case you are using XBMC or DBMC, the procedure is same for both of these uh, applications. Uh, so just start your box. The first step is just start your box as normal and from the home screen. Uh, you will need to go into settings and one thing more I would like to notify here that if you're using an older version of uh, Drivebox or if you're using a different device model or maybe an older firmware the home screen might differ but the procedure is the same. So to clear the data on XBMC or DBMC the first step is to start your box as normal and the next step is to go on to the settings option the two cogs. You can see here the settings option, the two cogs. So I'm clicking on it now. After clicking on the settings option, I will from this screen, I will choose the other tab and then I will go on to more settings. And before I click on more settings, I would also like to notify you guys that if you are using an older uh, device or an older firmware or a different device model, maybe the this, this screen does not appear and uh, you get other screen um, you get the other screen you don't you don't see the screen so what you will see is you will see this screen so don't panic you can just follow the rest of the video in case you don't see the previous screens so from here the next step is to go into your apps so once you are inside your apps if you're using dbmc you will go into dbmc and then you will click on four stop and clear data but i'm not using uh, i'm not using uh, dbmc i'm using xbmc uh, media center on the home screen uh, so inside uh, in the list of the apps it is known as Kodi uh, but on the home screen it is as XBMC media center the icon is XBMC media center but inside uh, inside this inside the settings uh, and then inside your apps you will see it named as Kodi because Kodi is the latest version of, uh, of XBMC so I'll go into Kodi and you can see for clearing the data what you need to do is the, the first step I would suggest to do is for stop I'm clicking on for stop and then I will hit OK after hitting OK you will go ahead and clear data so this is what you have to do so just clear data and hit OK and you can see that it's recomputing the size and you can see that it has taken the data to 0, 0.00 cache also to 0, 0.00 so if you clear the data remember you don't need to clear cache it will automatically clear the cache away so once that is done we can go back to the home screen and uh, then we can uh, again go back into XBMC and reload the Wookie wizard so I will show you how you can reload the Wookie wizard so we're back into XBMC media center uh, from the home screen we have cleared the data on Kodi and now we are back onto the home screen and I will show you how you can reload the Wookie wizard on your XBMC uh, okay it's it's in now and uh, it will show the main screen uh, just any time now okay yes we see the main screen and this has the basic menu and from here we need to go in order to load the Wookie uh, wizard we'll need to go on a system and click OK on it and then it will take us to the screen and from here we'll need to go on to add-ons and from here we'll just need to go into install from zip file once we click on install from zip file it will show us this uh, this drop down this pop-up window with all these options and from these options you can select the Wookie wizard just select the Wookie wizard once you select it you will it you will see another option that is click me scum to the Wookie wizard and just hit ok after selecting this just hit ok after you hit ok you will see a notification in the bottom right corner that we will see just any time now we, we should see as we should see a notification telling us that that Wookie add-on is enabled you can see that now we're seeing this notification that Wookie add-on is enabled so we'll go back and we'll go on to the videos option now from videos we'll go on to add-ons after that we'll just go on to the Wookie I will click on Wookie 
and then it will show you to log in uh, your username and password which is free and one two three four so I'm just going ahead and entering my the username which is free and one two three four so once that is done it will reload the Wookie packs then we can re-download the Wookie packs and it will reload the add-ons on your on our box so what we need to do is from all these options retro Wookie, new look Wookie, Apple TV add-on and everything so I will go with the retro Wookie because I'm using XBMC media center but if you're using DBMC please choose new look Wookie okay so I will go with the retro Wookie option here so I'm just clicking on retro Wookie and in case you are using the um, in case you're using the open elect site then you can choose the Apple TV add-ons here so because I'm using XBMC media center from the home screen I will go on to retro Wookie and I will click on retro Wookie and then it will show me for a successful update ensure you have to clear data first and I will hit continue and it will start downloading the Wookie pack so so now uh, as the Wookie wizard has been installed on to XBMC and or Kodi uh, what it will do is it will first download and uh, and then it will apply on the Wookie wizard and then it will throw you back or throw you out of the XBMC uh, application so once it is done you can restart your box which I have already done I have restarted the box and uh, now we will cover the final part of this video which will <clears throat> which will show you how you can prevent XBMC from going into the black screen issue uh, anymore so um, let's see how we can do this so after the Wookie wizard has been installed on your box you can restart your box and then after restarting the box you'll be presented with this home screen and then we'll go back into XBMC media center so I'm clicking on this now so it's loading up the Wookie again and once we are back in in order to prevent XBMC from going into black screen anymore what we will do is we will go on to the system option and from the system drop drop down you can click on X unity maintenance and from X unity maintenance you can go into hold on it's loading it takes a little while to load the X unity maintenance did you know okay okay so you can see the X unity options there is maintenance there is fixes and a lot of other options we'll go into tweaks here at the bottom left corner we'll go into tweaks and after we go into tweaks we'll click on add zero cache advanced xml so i'm clicking on add zero cache advanced xml i'm hitting ok so it's telling me have you backed up your original click yes and that's it it will install the add zero cache advanced xml on your box on your xbmc so that's it all done please come visit again okay so we'll go back so what i just did is i i prevented um i prevented the box from storing the cache files on the box uh, usually the black screen happens because uh, the cache files are stored onto the onto your box and um they are not cleared away uh, so I am just I have just with with this tweak with this add zero cache advanced XML it will prevent the cache files from being stored onto the box and one thing more when you when you exit uh, XPMC or you are done watching a movie or a TV show or whatever you are you are doing inside XPMC so once you try to exit XPMC please use this button please use this button next to store at the in the bottom left corner so to properly exit um, XBMC so this is the button that you got to use next to store so I'm clicking on this I have clicked on it it takes a little while to take it out of out to the main screen but this is the proper way of doing it this is the proper way of exiting XBMC so in case um, uh, there is uh, you are exiting XBMC you are done you, have, you are done watching movies you are done watching shows um, you can exit XBMC with that option. So it has taken a little while, few seconds, and then it has taken back us to the main screen. So this is all for this video uh, on how to uh, prevent the black screen happening and how to resolve if it's already happening on your XBMC. So that's it uh, from this video. I'll be back with more videos. And if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up option below the video and do not forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.